sixth graders. Today we're going to be just working a little bit on your second picture. Unless you haven't done the first one, then you can do that and come back to this video for your um, colored pencil choice. So I'm going to, I just got out a few different colors that I thought might match this dog. I just picked something, of course, this dog's fur on the brown part. Now the white part on this dog is pretty white, but I don't know if, yeah, you can see this, but see the shadow down here under the nose? That's going to be shaded a little later, okay? So first I'm going to start with the lightest. So if I look at these three, this is a good light color, okay? So I'm going to start by just lightly coloring in kind of all the brown area. Remember I try to hurry so that you guys have plenty of time to work, but also so you don't have to sit there and watch my video forever. Right? You can pause this show and just keep on going when you are ready. So the first thing I'm doing, just coloring in the main part of the body here, or the main part of the brown. Come over here. I'm going to hold off on the nose because it's kind of pink actually. Hope you had a good weekend. It's supposed to be nice this week, so hopefully you guys get outside and play some. All right, so there's the light brown. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to say, okay, I did the light brown and now I'm going to start with the regular brown, okay? So on the regular brown, I'm going to look at my dog's ear here. This is just something I found in the girls' pictures. I'm going to look at my dog's ear here and I know that where it's folded over, actually juts in just a little bit there. Real dark under. And I'm going the direction of the hair when I'm shading, okay? And I'm just adding some of the shadow into the dog's fur while I work. It's definitely going to need some orange in there, isn't it? Get that brown in there. And your lighter brown is coming through as well, which looks really pretty. Careful around your eye because, well, I'm going to be careful around my eye. If you notice, it's a little lighter around the eyes here. And there's a shadow that comes out underneath the eyelid. It's actually all along there. And all along the bottom. And it's a little darker right here. Actually has kind of an eyebrow. See the eyebrow jutting out there where I left it a little lighter? And then down here. Picture came out of an American Girl magazine. They actually have really great pictures of animals if you're ever looking for one to draw. Okay, so that's the next step. And then I'm going to go in with the orange and orange it up a little bit because this dog's fur looks more orange than what that last brown crayon or colored pencil was, doesn't it? Kind 
kind of going lightly over everything. Go back in with the brown again. Orange really helps it out. Okay, and I know that that's kind of glary there. Let's see if you can see it. Can you see how it kind of looks? I don't know. Maybe it's better over here. Oh, there we go. We had a really good shot. I guess if I just hold it right there. Okay, see where the shadow is underneath that ear? It's a little darker underneath. Okay, the eyebrow's lighter. All right, and it's actually still more orange, so I could even go in. More orange and brown, what do you think? Careful going sideways across the top of his head there. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with, I'm going to choose a light blue to start with for his eyes since it is a really pretty little light blue eye. There's actually a little white there, so I'm going to leave, see how I left this little area white right there. Start with this blue color. I think I found a black people. You could leave a highlight if there's a highlight or use white white out like we do in school sometimes. The edges are a little darker. This is actually a dark brown. And it's got these little lines that go out. underneath here. You're just going to keep working until you have it just the way you want it, okay? Um, his eye actually even has maybe a little bit of green, so I could even add a little green to his eye if I wanted. Okay? So, just get started on something on your animal, okay? Um, pay attention to the whites of the eyes and shadows and highlights, but this is what you start with. If this is all you get done this week, it's totally fine. You're just going to get your lightest areas colored in. I could start working on, you know, that nose some, and, uh, well, this will work. I'm going to use the skin color to start the nose. How about that? Just so I get some color in there. Okay. He's got some little dots and stuff we'll do next time. All right. So get started on your second uh, page. The third one I was planning on doing um, charcoal pencils, but if you don't have charcoal pencils, you could use watercolor or anything, or you could just try a second pencil drawing and do it for someone else for a gift even or something, okay? So I'm going to save this, and we'll do a lot more next time, okay? Um, on your dog. So, just get busy and do what you can, okay? I hope you have a great week.
talk to you soon.